for not having white meat or white meat. But some of you would like to have fresh vegetables and fruits. So let me ask you this. Where is in this place in Kuwait you can have fresh fruits and vegetables? Yes, here in Kuwait. Go ahead. You'll give me an answer. Where? Salmiye? No, no, no. I said fruits and vegetables, not fashionable wardrobe. Give me another answer. Felaka? Well, Felaka is an island. It's famous with ancient ruins. It's not the right answer. Your third choice. Go ahead. Last choice. Where? Cordoba? Well, they have a nice gas station, but it's not the answer. I shall give you the answer. It's a place here in Kuwait called Wafra. Yes, Wafra. W-A-F-R-A. Did I spell it right? Of course I did. If you like the place, you will enjoy the fresh air and the beautiful vegetables and fruits, like the cucumber. It was Friday morning when I took the weekend crew to go to a place called Wafra. It was located to the south of Kuwait City, close to the Saudi border. The length between Kuwait City and Wafra is around 120 kilometers. It will take you around one hour to reach there, passing through the golden sands of the Kuwaiti deserts. When you reach Wafra, you can notice the greeny agriculture from a distance. Many farms are located in Wafra area for many reasons such as the atmosphere, soil and many other factors as mentioned by Mr. Yu Kamal. A farmer who is working in a farm with his whole family. Well, there are so many reasons behind this. The main reason is the weather, of course. It's much cooler than the, the city itself. Uh, during the summertime, it's uh, a lot lower temperature than the city. Uh, in the wintertime, it's, uh, it's cooler. And uh, this is what's uh, the main reason for uh, helping the agriculture here. And uh, one of the main uh, reasons why the, the government picked Wafra and also Abdeli uh, to be uh, a perfect site for uh, agricultural projects. When I was walking down to this farm, I found our meteorologist, Mr. Jamal Abdul Khadr. Mr. Jamal, can you tell us what is this exactly specially about this weather over here in Wafra that we've seen a lot of farms? Well, we know the location of Wafra is very close to the sea and in the further, uh, southern part of Kuwait where most of the rain accumulation comes to Wafra. We know about uh, double the amount of rain we have in Wafra than what we have in the airport. That's why, and all the humidity which we have in Wafra, uh, it brings all this nice atmosphere and ambient for the plants. That's why. Farming is of critical importance as the major source of food for people in all nations. More than 19% of the total world's supply of food comes from farms, including ranches, the rest comes from fishing and hunting. Farming as a way of life varies as widely over the face of the earth as variations in quality of life in society at large. In Wafra, the farms produce different kinds of fruits and vegetables, especially cucumber, which I really enjoyed at the opening statement of this report. Uh, what kind of crops do you have in the summertime? In the summertime, this is considered uh the season that's not really a productive season. Uh, we, we are limited to cucumbers and tomatoes and uh, some eggplants. And uh, in addition to uh, leaf vegetables, uh, such as onions and uh, you know carrots, celeries and all that stuff. Uh, what kind of uh, products do you produce in the winter time? In the addition of what I just said, uh, we have strawberries. We produce it uh, from the month of January up to March. Uh, in addition to that, we have uh, several exotic vegetables that you cannot produce in the summertime. They need the right environment and the weather, of course, and lots of water, such as uh, bell peppers, red bell, pe red, uh, bell peppers, and uh, uh, certain kind of uh, vegetables uh, that they can, you know, ad adapt to cold weathers. Taking a tour around the farm, you can see so many different kind of livestock, such as cows, donkeys, ponies, monkeys, pigeons, chickens, ducks. You can play with the monkeys as much as you like. I was asked to catch one of the monkeys, but I guess I was too brave to catch one of them. But be careful from the monkey bite. 
There was a house full of bees, and you can have a fresh honey from the farm. I must tell you, while I'm working in your farm, I've seen a lot of uh, animals. Uh, can you tell us what kind of animals you've got in your farm? Yes, of course, as you can see, we have goats. We have a couple of monkeys uh, that everybody likes here. And we have a lot of uh, monkeys. We have uh, ponies. We have uh, peacocks, ducks, chickens. Everything that you want, you can find it here. Uh, from where you brought those animals? Well, from range of countries. We have uh, from Oman. We bring uh, animals from Iran, from southern uh, Russia. We bring a lot of uh, animals. We have uh, most of our birds from uh, from Holland, from France. We bring ducks and uh, monkeys. We bring them from Pakistan. One good thing about this farm, you can find a lot of animals. One of the animals I really liked is his pony. That's why I want to take a ride with him. Just imagine I have a mask and silver bullets. The only thing I'm missing is Tonto. Nowadays is an excellent time to visit Wafra because of the nice weather. Beside the fresh vegetable and taking a tour among the animals, you can bring the whole family, let the wife barbecue the meat and cool between the grass while the little ones are enjoying themselves by playing football or riding the swings or even sliding down the slides or riding their bicycles around the farm. Ali, why do you come to this place? I want to uh, play, I want to see the animals. What kind of animals do you like? Cows. Iman, why do you come to this place? Uh, I come to the fl uh, this place because there is uh, fresh air and we can meet friends here, we can see each other. Also, we can have fun here in many, many ways. Uh, we came over here to spend some time with the children, have a good time. It's a weekend. No better place to go. Uh, Mr. Ahmed, why do you come to this place? Well, actually to see uh, some animals and uh, to breathe some fresh air and also to meet uh, new people here, there are nice people here, and uh, to see some green places in Kuwait. Abdelaziz, what are the things most interesting that you find in this place? I so, uh, find the animals interesting here, the pigeons, the monkeys, the cows, and, and everything, just about everything here. Uh, what do you think of the donkeys? Donkeys are great too, quiet, great. All those beautiful sceneries that you are watching right now was damaged very badly by the Iraqi soldiers due to the 2nd of August 1990 Iraqi invasion of Kuwait. But with the great efforts of Mr. Ayoub and his family, they rebuilt the farm and made it open to the public to enjoy and relax. Uh, for the unfortunate uh, invasion, the Iraqi invasion in 2nd of August to Kuwait, they damaged so many places. Your farm, was it damaged by the Iraqis in that time? Yes, it was uh, severely damaged by the war. Uh, mainly things, we, as you see, we had a lot of uh, life animals and, and birds. This was the, the, the big loss. Uh, in addition to our uh, establishments uh, uh, and the chicken houses and the, the greenhouses were severely damaged. Uh, but of course, after uh, deliberation with the, with the effort uh, of my father, uh, we could uh, bring everything back to what it was and even better than before. The number of donkeys were 150 donkeys were brought from Azerbaijan. And it's advisable to use donkeys inside the farm as a way of transportation. It is always nice to look at the green plants it makes you relax, especially after a long week of working hours. In the weekend, take your family to Wafra and enjoy the green scenery. But make sure to return back to your home at Friday night at 10 o'clock evening so you wouldn't miss your favorite program, the weekend program. After we have this lovely afternoon, now all of us are getting ready to go back to Kuwait City. You don't have to drive 120 kilometers to get fresh vegetables and food. It's available by the Shuek Vegetable Market. Now from myself, I will say good night. And everybody else? Goodbye! This is Ahmed Al-Baghsami reporting for the weekend program. You may not have